We're here today with Randy Hetrick, the inventor and creator of the TRX Suspension Trainer. So where'd you get the idea for the suspension trainer? Well, when I was in the SEAL teams, you know, we're deploying all over the world. So, you know, trying to maintain a very, very high level of physical readiness, but deploy to places where you can't uh, really train. There's yeah. no gyms, there's nothing. And I had accidentally deployed on, a, on an operation with my, my jiu-jitsu blue belt stuffed into one of my gear bags. And while I was in this little warehouse uh, wanting to train the upper body for, for a climbing mission, um, I just you know found it and was like, what the heck did I bring this thing for? Yeah. Went out, tied a knot in the end of it, threw it over the top of a door inside this warehouse and started playing around with lifting my own body weight. Oh, right. okay. You know, part part of part of my body being grounded, part of my body being the resistive force that I could lift against gravity, and uh, you know, one thing led to another. I found some some uh, some old webbing in, in one of the spare gear boxes that we had to kind of improve on it a little, and ended up creating kind of the upside down Y that you see today in the TRX. Cool. Okay. How long ago did you create it? Well, that uh, you know, Cro-Magnon prototype yeah. was back around 1997, 1996. Okay, cool. Okay. And uh, and then it, you know, guys would ask me to you know, hey boss, make me one of your gizmos, and yeah. uh, and I had a buddy out in the parachute loft who would make them for guys in the squadron for cases of beer. Okay. <laughs> and, and and then over time, I just kept tweaking it. Yeah. And seals are pretty innovative cats, you know, especially yeah. where it comes to to training. And so you know, guys would come up and say, hey, check this out. Look, yeah. at, you know, I. I, I came up with this or that, and over time, you know, by the time that I that I, I was promoting out of the field and decided to go back to business school, and uh, it, you know, I had a pretty good sense that at least among the elites, yeah, that that this was a a, a type of training that was going to catch on. So, what are we doing today? What type of workout do you have in store? Well, you know, I thought we'd just give you a little flavor, okay. maybe 15 minutes, so the okay. kind of thing that a that a trainer could do with a client as part of another workout at the Perfect. end of a workout, or give it to a client to take on the road with them. And uh, it'll, it'll, it'll be enough to get you what you need. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so which, how are you going to have me started? So we're going to start with a little warm-up. Okay. We, got it, we got it hooked up here to the frame, but obviously you can hook okay. it up to anything. And so okay. I'm going to have you start out with just a squat row, right? Okay. Which is just squatting down and then rowing up. And obviously as you move your feet toward the anchor point, you can add a little bit more resistance. But right now we're just going to yeah. warm up. That's what I like about getting the hips into it. I can feel the back. Just If I've been sitting all day, this is a great way to kind of light up the whole posterior chain there you and go. stretch those hip flexors. And one exercise all the way up the back side to get you warm. We'll do a couple more reps and then I'm going to flip you around. Okay. And you're going to go into a lunging fly for the front side of the body just because I don't want to get into the meat of the work without <laughs> into, yeah. starting to wake you up. So now, I like to drop my hands into the cradles, okay. the foot perfect. cradles for yeah. this one. Yeah, and perfect. then as you step out toward me, step out into a lunge. Big stretch. Yep. Oh man, and Just yeah, take your that. time on this one. Really just kind of warm up, get into the chest, because we're going to do a little bit of chest work, a bunch of core work. Yeah, and this is a great it. one for that hip flexor on the trailing leg. Yeah, this right. definitely opens all, if, if I've been sitting at my computer all day, which I was this morning, there you go. this definitely opens everything up and gets it ready for what's to come. Now take a big step out and hold the bottom for me. All right. Yeah, just kind of Got settle it. into that one for a minute. Really, we should be feeling this all down the yeah. lateral side of the this bottom. This is one of my favorite little warm-ups, kind of just light everything up, and open you'll, it up. And you'll see this one at the end. Now switch sides, because we'll come back to that one at the end. For the, for the same, there you go. And there leaning forward into the lead knee really gets into that hip flexor and the ribs on the opposite yeah, side. Again, that triplane stretch into that back hip really will open up and get more power and more strength out of it. Yeah, when we're gonna get some of that from you. Now just do a few more, few more reps right. at, at regular speed and then we'll, then we'll get into our first little bit of the workout. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm a little nervous here. <laughs> <laughs> Working out with a true, uh, true special All operator. Right. Now, so we're gonna start with the front side of the body since we're warm. So okay. shift back up to the handles and I'm gonna lengthen you out just gotcha. a little bit here. Okay. Put the ar length of your arms in. Now, walk back into modest resistance. We're gonna start with what we call a clock press. Short arm presses, okay. long arm flies, just okay. like a clock. So here, okay, there's there short arm and long arm. Yep, and then switch sides, exactly. We'll give you about 30 seconds on gotcha. that. Now, as Pete's doing this, he's got his core's active. You feel your core yeah, on? Yeah, this isn't, brace, this isn't your brace uncle's, <laughs> This isn't your uncle's chest press, right? No, no. He's got one side flying for the anterior shoulder, core engagement, a little bit of asymmetric load. There's a lot going on here. You feel yeah, I'm it? digging. I have to dig my feet into the ground. I have to brace through the hips, squeeze the glutes. Um, and if you wanted more, you'd walk your feet back. If you wanted a little bit less, you'd walk your feet toward me. Yeah. Never sacrificing in form. And one more each side. 
and ah. stop. Okay, now we're gonna flip around, but we're gonna tie them together and we're gonna go yeah. to the power pole. Gotcha. Do a little front side pressing and now, then a little back side. This uh, is the way I always use it, because I always like making sure the handles are secure. I know you have different generations of suspension trainer out there. Exactly. But I'm just used to doing this because I think it's just it gets me in the habit of being safe whenever I use it. That's a great way to do it. You can't go wrong. The new ones all have a locking loop. But the old ones don't, and so it's best to lock it together. And you're an old pro. So you can see Pete's been doing this power pull before. Now I'll challenge him by having oh, him no. slow down a little and reach all the way out here and look at me. There. Now when he does that, he has to uncoil. Yeah, this is no. And then recoil. There you go. <laughs> you're Couple more. Me today. And then straight over into the other arm. So you just make the transition. This will also let you know if one side of your body is stronger than the other, which yeah. most of us it is. Yeah, this there shoulder's we go. a little weaker. Yeah, everybody's everybody's got their uh, you know their their dings and bruises from years on the road. A couple more and time. Now we're gonna go down to the ground and we're gonna because we're working through his body, starting up high, working front side, then back side, and then he's gonna go down to the ground and we're gonna work. Uh, we're gonna start with him working front side. All right, so front side. So so let's shorten these up just a little. Gotcha. I like them about the length of my foot from the ground. That's how that's how I gauge it. And I, I'll just, there you go. Right, Roll cool. on over into uh, that. Get you all set up. All right. Now he's in a plank. And we're gonna do a crunch to a pike. So just start nice and up. slow. So there's a crunch up in the pike. pike. Looking great. Now he's gonna have a hard time talking here, but <laughs> but I'm gonna guess that you're feeling that whole anterior yeah. core muscle set already. Yeah, the heart rate's coming up. This is a great race coming up to bring this might up. not look hard, but <laughs> I'm really getting there you the go. abdominal muscles going. There you go. The little abdominal muscles I have. A couple more reps. He's bringing his heart rate up on this one. This is one that you definitely have a high metabolic component. And then just put in a couple push-ups for me, Pete, at the bottom. Turning this into the atomic pike and the atomic. Oh, oh man. Good job. All right, man. So now. Go down and just flip over, and I'm gonna keep you down on the ground, okay. and we'll just put your heels in. Gotcha, thank you. All right, I'll give you a hand out. You lay back. You wanna make sure that the suspension trainer is basically straight under its anchor Doesn't point. Doesn't matter where my feet are, like in terms of resistance. As you move away from the anchor point, gravity is pulling against you, so it goes a little harder. Okay. As, you, as you push to the other side of the anchor point, gravity helps you, so it's a little easier. Okay. The other ways to make it harder or easier is he can keep his butt on the ground. Now just go ahead and do a, Keep okay, your butt so on the ground. Get the movement in here. Yeah. So when you think about different levels of clients, right? Yeah. Keeping the bum on the ground and just thinking about activating down into those heels. Yeah. Most that, people don't think of training the hamstrings like this, but I'm feeling the hamstrings working with the calves as one solid loop, as one solid feedback loop. Absolutely. And so this is a great place to start. But cool. then for a little more advanced, <laughs> a little more advanced guy like I'm gonna have him lift his butt off the ground. Now yeah. he really loads it. So now bring him in, and we're gonna add an abduction. So out here, open up, ah. and then back together. Yeah. Now you talk about a great one for yeah. glute and low back integration. Yeah, the hamstring. Those hips lifted up, and everything. Yeah, right to the hips there. You feeling you that? Feel those lateral hips are going. So here, posterior chain and the lateral chain, getting those fascial lines. Whoop, drop my tailbone there. There you go. And that's you got you got core training here, but posterior core. Oh man. All right, couple more, and time. All right, now. His heart rate, you can hear, is up a little bit. <laughs> now he's gonna go up, and where we're gonna finish this one off is, uh, actually, you know, we'll have you do, we'll have you do, just because I, I don't want you to get cheated, we're gonna have you do one balance, crossing balance lunge. Okay. So back in here? Yeah. Cool. And just, you can alternate sides, or you can do one side at a time. Oh, we'll bring like his that. heart rate down just a little here, because yeah. then we're gonna finish it off with a metabolic, a little metabolic blast. I like this into the hip, though, man. People don't realize that this is a great way for runners, this can help reduce a lot of knee pain. Really load the medius firing. Loading you know. up that glute. And if, if you want to basic your touch, a little more advanced, don't touch with that back foot. Now you add the balance component. Oh, Feel yeah. that stabilization challenge? Yeah, I definitely fell into that hip. All right, so now he's talking again, so I can tell his heart rate's <laughs> back down. So now we're going to finish <coughs> up with one of my favorites. Uh -oh. I like to finish, like, like I believe my buddy Pete Holman does with yeah. his stuff, with, with a, a little bit of metabolic blast, uh -huh. right? All right. The TRX Burpee. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and, and hook these together. Uh, you don't need to, but this is a, a nice way to do it. So go ahead and put your right foot in there. We'll, we'll work the left leg first. 
So right foot in, left leg. And right there, and the way I like to set this up is, I like to, to set up so that I can, at the top, so you might hop back just a touch. Okay. Right there should be about perfect. Gotcha. All right, now, as you come down, you're gonna come down into a plank, do your push up, pop back up, and then leap and clap. There you go, now keep those going. Now, this will bring Pete's heart rate up. Now, he's touching at the back, and that's the great place to start. If he wants to take it up a little, then he does no touch and floats that back foot. So give me a couple with a floating back foot. There you go, oh yeah, you feel that. Oh man, a couple more reps and we'll switch sides. Oh, this is freaking tough. Last rep, bam, all right, now. Oh man. <laughs> now the good news is, half a little that, breather here. That one's done. The, the bad news is we got another leg. Yeah. So uh, okay, the left foot. So you got to work the uh, yeah. Put the left foot in. Work the right the right leg. Okay. So now let's break this down once yeah. as you go down. So first you're lunging, Boom. come down, push, push up. up, then pop back up, and then a leap. Right. So you talk about all the different stability, uh, strength, metabolic training, core training. You got an asymmetric load between the left leg and the right leg. All kinds of stuff going on here. Okay, last three. There's three, two, and time. Oh, very man. nice, very nice. Whew, that smoked me, man. All so right. what are you gonna do for a cool down? <laughs> well, so we're gonna get a little cool down going for you. And you know, we'll do a little something quick for the back side, a little something right, quick cool. for the front side. And a little something for this. I like that, man. My heart rate was definitely up, so I can see how this will work for you in the field. You, you, feel, the, you feel the way that took your heart rate oh, through yeah, the roof, definitely. right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to start out, just just drop your bum back. And just, you don't need keep a lot the of legs no, straight. Keep, no, walk away a little more. Okay. Yeah, okay. this is just low back stretch, gotcha. right? So you, oh. don't need, you don't need much load here. No, that feels good. Just really, this is a great one for yeah. you spend all day standing on your feet or sitting at a desk. This yeah, one decompresses the lumbar. I say, there's the, a lot of distraction here in the lumbar vertebrae. Yeah, now take one and straighten your leg and, and then rotate away from it. Bend the knee. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And then and then opposite. There you go. Just All back right, and I like forth. This. Really so just straight. decompress. <laughs> so one bend. Bring the heart rate down. Yeah, straight. you can play with it. One of the great things about the stretches on the TRX is you stretch what's right for you, right? You find your... Oh man, this feels great because it's really unwinding nice. in all three dimensions at the same time. Yeah, this is one of my favorites for the end of the day. All right, now we're gonna come up. Now, all I want you to do, stay right there. Okay. Step across with your right foot. Gotcha. Turn that way, and we're gonna get into the side body. Just let your okay. hip fall away here. Oh, and just relax. Yeah. There you go. Feel oh, that all the way up, right? Yeah. We did some pulling, we did some pushing, you know, we worked some core on the front side and back side, and they just settle into it. Ah, it feels really good. And just breathe into it. <sighs> exactly. Come in and out of it a little bit, and then we'll have you swap over the other side. Right. Left leg forward. Gotcha, thank you. Just let the right, <laughs> and then just let the right leg fall away. There you go. Yeah. So this gets really opens up the side body. Oh, that's little... really, yeah, going back to that workout, I really like that. It was quick, and there's a ton of research just about how little metabolic hits like that can really boost VO2 and just do a great aerobic conditioning if you don't have a lot of time for exercise. Well, we, we didn't take much time today. No. All right, now turn toward me, and you're gonna, remember how we started with that yeah. lunge fly? Yeah. And we're gonna finish that way. I like because you did hands in the cradle. I usually hold on to the handles, but I like this option. So now step out, get a big step out there with that okay. lead leg. And, okay. and now really rotate into it. There you go. And settle down into it. Oh, yeah. Because with all those crunches and the pikes you did, right, for the hip flexors and, and, yeah. and for the core, this is a great way to open that up. That feels real good. Now, without moving, just rotate the other way. All there right. you go, get a little T-spine. Yeah, get a little balance challenge. A little balance, a little T-spine. And yeah. then switch your lead leg. Come up, switch the other. See, now he's back down to a talking cadence, yeah. heart rate down. Heart rate much more under control, breathing almost back to normal. Now, that's what I like about this stuff, is you can really, you can get a nice little fry in there with clients when you're on the road. Now, I've actually traveled with mine quite a bit. It's one of the things I like joining my kit when I hit the road and do workshops and stuff, because no matter what the hotel gym has to offer, I know I can get my work out in. That's right. There's, you know, that's good and bad, right? You never have an excuse. <laughs> and, there, and, there, and there you go. There's a, I don't know what, we were probably 12, maybe 12, not more than 15 no, minutes. No, not more than 15 minutes. minutes. Well, where can we get more information about TRX? So, everything you need to know, trxtraining.com. Cool, hey, Randy, thanks for your time today, man. Yeah, man, appreciate I appreciate it. it.